Army.com. Don't revive me, bro. Cut this down. That is loud. Anyway, so what I wanted to show you, I'm playing Spotify, and Spotify, one of the downfalls of Spotify for streaming is that it, uh, unless you pay for an app that you could, you know, it's kind of costly for what it is. Um, Equalify Pro and I think Chi Volume, uh, two apps out there you can pay for. If you don't pay for those, okay. You're stuck with how your audio is routed from programs like Spotify. They just go through your default audio playback. Okay. Well, I don't want that. I want to be able to control the audio. And, you know, forever people have been saying, Spotify, please give us the ability to change our route signal, please. So many other awesome programs, you know, have it built in. But Spotify, for some reason, they don't do it. And I don't know why. But that's okay because I have found a way for you to do it. Okay. And it's free. So I'm going to show you, let's bring up uh, Chrome here, and we'll go to my history, go to two tabs, let's see. All right, so this is it. This is a GitHub. Now, what I'll do is I'll copy the link, and I'll put it in the comments um, so you can use this. But it'll send you to this website, a GitHub site. And you have two versions of this. If you have a 64-bit version, you got the 32-bit version, okay, I use a 64-bit OS. If you're using a 32-bit, get with the program, people. It's 2000 and freaking 17. Okay. Anyway, 64-bit, that's what I'm using. So I click on this, and it will download a zip file. Go through the process of extracting it. Once you extract it to a folder, open that folder up, and inside it you'll have a an app, and it's called Audio Router. Okay, what I've done is I've pinned it to my taskbar down here so I don't have to keep going back into the folder. Okay, so let me close this out. I want to keep MoveBot up because this is important. I want to show you something that's really cool. In addition to Spotify. Okay, so I got Spotify playing. Let me go ahead and pause this. Well, actually, I won't pause it. I'll just leave it playing for right this second. All right, so as you can tell, first of all, this is Spotify coming through my default playback. Um, so bring a defect, default playback up. Just to show you. Okay, this is set to VAIO, voice meter VAIO, which you can read right there. Okay, this is virtual input that goes in. This is where all my Windows audio comes in on my stream rig. Likewise, same way on my game rig. Um, on that voice meter I have installed there. So all that audio is coming in here, including Spotify. Okay. I'm going to close that back out. And now let me bring this app up. All right, so here is audio router and here you see spotify showing up in the ui so all you need to do is click on the down arrow go to the route and now you have a pull down menu and then you can just select whatever input you have selected now what i want to do is i want to send it to this cable input this is a virtual audio cable that i have let me bring this down right here installed in voice meter uh, likewise you can go to playback And you can see it right here, okay? So this is a free or donate word that you can get from the same people that make Voice Meter Banana. And if you want to go to their website, just click on the top of Voice Meter Banana. It'll see it on their website. Um, so anyway, so that's a, that is a cable output, cable input, I should say. So I'll go down here. I want to route the signal to the cable input of that voice uh, virtual audio cable. Sorry about that. Now, you might lose my mic here when I hit OK. I have to reset um, the audio channel on the cable output side of voice meter. Okay, so for some reason, that's a little bug with this. Also, it does not save your settings whenever you shut this down. So you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to uh, reset everything every single time. And that's a downfall. But other than that, trust me, this is awesome. So here you go, my mic's. All right, should be back. So, yes, you should hear me now. So there you go. So now you have Spotify audio going to this channel right here. Okay. So let me turn Spotify up a little bit. All right. So here you go. 
Spotify is now going. Not only I'm I'm turning this down for you guys, but, and it should be going down on the stream on the record here. Uh, because if I were to click, let me move uh, OBS over here. And I'm sorry for the tunnel vision here, but you can see now Spotify's coming here on your channel. Okay, and if I were to click on the set properties here. This is the cable output, okay? This is what I sent their audio to. Okay. Likewise, on my voice meter, it's also going to my voice meter. Now, this is being sent to back to my game rig. I'm using V-Band for this. You see I have patched through the A2. A2 is not programmed up here as a physical output, but it is in a V-Band. Okay, so I have the bus A2. And that is outbound through my Ethernet, through my router, to my game rig. And then my game rig is receiving that digital audio into voice meter banana on the game rig. And then I'm able to control the volume going into my headphones. Okay, so I'm listening to this right now. I'm, I can hear the music. Okay, but I can turn it down and it not affect you. But it's a but now I can barely hear the music. Okay, or I can I can adjust it to where I can just barely hear it. Okay. But see, I'm turning it up on you guys. And it's not affecting my audio. My audio is staying the same, even though I'm moving it over on the stream rig. That's the flexibility that it's now giving you using this audio router. It is a beautiful thing. All right, second thing. All right, so this is a bug I wanted to show you real quick before we get into Chrome. Um, bring Chrome up real quick. There we go. So um, sometimes, like, Chrome's not showing up inside the list here. And let me refresh it just to show you that sometimes it does not show up in this UI okay but if you go to switch view the Chrome will show up under the list there okay so it's right there okay now if you click on Chrome you'll get the same pull down as you will get with uh, if you're using the graphic UI okay so click on it and there you go there's your default audio window I want to send Chrome now Chrome is going to give me I'm going to be able to send my browser audio to a dedicated audio device now so likewise i want to send my chrome to that same cable input that i was sending spotify before okay all right so you're going to hear my mic go away real quick i'm going to reset it just give me a second the mic should be back now okay there you go so now i have set that uh chrome up so now why do i want to do that okay well I use Moobot for my streaming. Within Moobot, one of the plugins I use is the song request. Okay, so I have a playlist set up that I can start playing. And there you go. So now you have audio coming from Moobot to a dedicated route channel, not through your playback audio from Windows. This is something that I know a lot of people have been wanting to do for a long time. I have seen a ton of forums where people say, I want to change my audio route from Chrome. How do I do it? Well, this is how using audio router. It's a great thing. And um, just, I'm really just stoked to be able to use this because it has given me tons of flexibility. Likewise, I can change this in Spotify or I can change this uh, audio on OBS. I'm going to bring it over here again. As you can see, it's playing on that audio on that Spotify channel. And I can change the audio down and up. And my audio and my headphones have stayed the same the whole time while I was changing your level. And I could go and like I was bring up Voice Meter Banana and change it without affecting your, your uh, side of the audio. So... I, I'm just totally stoked at this. I love this app. It's given me exactly what I've been wanting to do for a long time now. So I can, you know, I'll probably run song requests all the time because I really want you guys to be able to choose the songs on my live stream. And this app's going to be able to give me that flexibility without having to listen to it at the same level that you guys are listening to while I'm trying to play my game. So if this helped you out, please make sure you go down to comments. I have the link down there. You can click on it. Try it for yourself. Um, if this helped you out, please give me the like, 
I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Share it with your friends because I know a ton of people out there that are going to want to know about this. Uh, please get it out there. Spread it out. Let people know about it. Um, the more the merrier. Like I said, this is free, guys. You can't beat it. And uh, Anyway, so if this helped you out, like I said, please like and subscribe uh, for more Voice Meter Banana tutorials. I have a big playlist down there. You can check that out, including a full dual PC streaming setup guide for Voice Meter Banana and also um, OBS Studio tutorials. I have a comprehensive guide, the definitive guide to OBS Studio. It shows you everything you need to do to stream and record using OBS Studio. So go out there, check that out. Guys, again, thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I hope this helped you out. Have a great week. Be safe out there and be good. Fist bumps. Peace.